Welcome to The Daily Show. Uh, it's truly an honor for me because you are one of my favorite actors that I've ever had the pleasure of watching. Oh, my God, thank you. Genuinely, you are. And uh, I'm, I'm excited to see you in telling this story as well because you're telling the tale of an amazing black woman who overcame the odds mm -hmm. to create an empire that no one thought was possible, C.J. Walker, Madam C.J. Walker. Yeah. Tell me about the story and why you chose to create it. Well, uh, Madam C.J. Uh, was a, a standard bearer in my home. My mom used her as an example uh, for me and my siblings because we were from very humble beginnings. And Madam was uh, born of slaves, uh, the first to be free in her family. And um, she was able to, as you said, to uh, just achieve so much uh, right. through insurmountable odds, and she didn't have the right to vote or really own property. She was born Sarah Breedlove. She became Madam C.J. Walker through marriage, um, and th through her marriage, uh, and basically in name, uh, became one of the most powerful women of her time. It really is fascinating when you watch the story because, essentially, she made the Fenty beauty of her time. <laughs> she did. That's, that's what she did. Because yes. here she was as a black woman who realized that black women weren't being catered to at all. I mean, something that you surprisingly is still a story today in, in, in beauty and in products and in care. And she said, I'm gonna make something for my people and I'm gonna put my face on it, which was a big deal. Yeah. You, you, you show that in the story where people are like, oh, you see, imagine CJ Walker, you can't do this. Why do you think it was so important for her to put her face on that product when so many said that face won't sell a product? Because someone said that face won't sell a product. Mm. You know, I guess if, if she uh, did, was, uh, created the Fenty of her time, does that make me Rihanna? Because it does, I... it does. <laughs> it basically does. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> Oh, you know, I that. Uh, but uh, in all seriousness, um, I think she she put her face on the product because someone said that she wasn't beautiful. Right. And um, I, I think she wanted to be beautiful in her husband's eyes. But when she realized her own beauty, that's when she became powerful. It it, it really is an amazing story of this woman who has an idea overcomes insurmountable odds, is not a perfect person as well. And that's what I love about the show, is you showing us a human being who creates this empire. And people have had to estimate her net worth because of the time, there's no Forbes. Right. But some people estimated that in 1919, she had a net worth of $10 million, $10 million yeah. which is a lot of money, especially for back then. I mean, yeah. it's a lot of money now, a ton of money back then. Yeah. When you look at her story, I, I would honestly be hard pressed to not think of how many parallels you share with her in real life. Because, you know, you've been outspoken about the journey many black people, black women specifically, face mm -hmm. in Hollywood. You know, yeah. the, the, the challenges of not just having work, but having control of your work, creating work. Right. You have now begun a journey of Madam C.J. walker through Hollywood. I, I believe you're creating, what, 10 projects as we speak? Yeah, I, um, a few. <laughs> That's, I mean... <laughs> what, what, is that, what has that journey been like? You know, I, I, I think that you, you touched on something really important to me because so many people have asked me, uh, what is the role that you feel you're destined to play? And for me, it is producer because not only am I creating opportunities for myself, but for so many other people who've been marginalized, whose voices haven't been heard, whose stories haven't been told. Right. And um, we just had such synergy um, uh, with the, the diversity uh, of, of women who, who were uh, a part of this. And, and I feel very grateful that I got to be a part of it. Before I let you go, I know that LeBron James is also one of the... Is he one of the producers on the yes, show? Yes, yes. Uh, Spring Hill Entertainment, uh, Maverick, Everybody over there, um, they, they've just, LeBron, they, they've been amazing uh, to partner with. Uh, you know, when I was making my deal, uh, we had reached an impasse with the studio, and I'm one of those people, because I, I told you, I'm from humble beginnings. You know, I need, like, some meatloaf, some <laughs> potatoes, some good murder mysteries. Right. You know, I, I live beneath my means so that I'm not living uh, in golden handcuffs. Right, and right. I can walk away from the negotiating table, mm -hmm. and I was prepared to walk away. And uh, LeBron and Maverick intervened on my behalf, and we have to have that advocacy uh, until women are, you know, treated fairly uh, with regard to the pay gap. Well, LeBron with another assist. Thank you yes, so much biggest... for sharing that story. <laughs> Thank you for being on the show. Thank you. I hope everyone watches this. <laughs> Self-made, inspired by the real life of Madam C.J. Walker will be on Netflix March 20th. Octavia Spencer, everybody.